always say, you know, people don't know, like, what you go through, and they always look on the outside, and they think, you know, everything is great, she's been, like, married for 11 years, they have five beautiful children, you know, and they feel like life is just, like, amazing, and given some days, life is amazing. <sighs> Some days life is easy, but like, it's just some days it gets really, really hard. And I guess today is one of the hard days. Like nothing really happened. Nothing big, nothing major. It's just, uh Sometimes it's so much that goes on. It's just tiring sometimes, you know? Life just gets really, 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 really overwhelming. And I know that's probably the case for everybody, but it's really bad when you have a family to maintain and a family to take care of, you know? I talked about I mentioned it in my other like my other video we've been through a lot and like we've been we've struggled a lot and sometimes it just feels like the struggle doesn't go away you know it's like sometimes you get tired Sometimes life gets really, really complicated. You know, especially when you're doing everything that you can or you're trying to do everything that you can. And so, yeah, like we struggle so much in our relationship, in our marriage, financially. And sometimes it's like, When does the struggle like ever? When does it stop? You know? Like sometimes it's just like, when does it stop? Like when is it gonna be over? Like we've done everything. Like sometimes I just feel like the universe is like panning against me or something. Like I try to do everything possible. I try to be like a nice person, you know? I give when I can. And it's just, sometimes I just feel like everything is against me, you know? No matter how hard I try, it happens again. And I'm I give it, I'm in a better place than I was. Like, literally, we had to sleep in our car. And everything is just, it's, it's life. And life is hard. Life is rough, you know. There's nothing going on. It's just, like, I'm the type of person that feel like everything I do, like, I gotta just, like, fight for it. I gotta fight so hard. And I'm tired of fighting for everything. Mentally, you gotta fight just to mentally make it. You gotta fight. In my relationship, I've had to fight. In my relationship, I've had to fight with my husband's family and they're not even really there like that. Like, they don't support us. So they're not there for us or anything. Um, even to get a degree, like, it's like, oh, my gosh, I had to go through so much to get a degree. And even now, like, it's like, oh, my gosh, they just told me, like, they don't have no grants for the summer. So then I had to pay for it. 
paying for school, you're paying to just do better, you're paying to be better, you're just... I don't know. I'm just not trying to get on here and complain and just like talk about how hard life has been and I want to get more into the detail of what has like relate my relationship my relationship has been like super hard it has been a fight honey this has been a 11 years of work okay it's just to maintain and it's not even because and i tell people i say it's not because we didn't we don't love each other that we struggle so much because yeah we love each other but it's pretty much when you're young and you get in a relationship so young and you know you haven't developed yourself you don't know yourself but you know you love each other or whatever or you you have feelings for each other because you don't just start off loving each other but you have feelings for each other and you you get in this relationship and then you start doing everything else like so young you start having children young like i had my first daughter when i was 14 um yeah her dad wasn't really there so i pretty much my mom helped me with her like miraculously so when you get in these relationships and you start these responsibilities so young like i started so young with everything it's like i had to fight to make life work you know i had to fight to make life try to work in my favor you know and it's still the same thing it's still a fight and people look at me like why is like sometimes like why is she like that but people don't understand my mind is just like so on i gotta do better to this i don't have time to rest you know i started so young and so everything that i couldn't do because i had my second child at 18 so it's like everything i couldn't do i'm trying now to just like make it better given i i graduated high school a year early even having two kids i graduated high school a year early or whatever and i worked hard to get that and then it took me like forever to get my degree and now i'm back in school getting a degree but it's like i started so young i started my relationship young me and my husband started out so young and it's like we didn't get a chance to experience everything that life could have offered us because we were so young and then we were having like we had our children like back to back and it's a blessing like i love my children i wouldn't trade neither one of them for the world they made me so strong they made me so much better um they made my outlook on life a lot better a lot more worth it they've given me like a whole new meaning to love and life but it has been hard we struggled so bad and then we struggled like his family really didn't care for me so they were not there like they were not supportive and they were so mean like just a bunch of mean people they were so mean and they caused a lot of hurt and it caused like a lot of resentment in him towards me because he felt like he had to let his family go because of me and so it's resentment that still after 11 years we constantly deal with every day and people don't understand like he wants his family to be there and they just they really don't care to be there and for me i know it's hard for him because he sees my family a lot of the times I just there, like my family's there, they love my kids, they're always there. You wanna babysit? Well babysit. You know, my family has been very supportive and his family hasn't. And I guess it's it was like a thing of I I kinda get it, but I kinda don't get it because I've been raised in a family where we're gonna accept 
this is the person you choose to be with and we're going to make it work as long as they're not doing anything. They're not hurting you. So we're going to make it work and we're going to just go daily and we're going to think about, you know, you and whatever's in your best interest. And if this is what's making you happy, we're going to accept it. And that was that. But I think his family came from a place of, oh, you know, everything is the way it looks on the outside. You know, you shouldn't struggle. You shouldn't do this. Like, yeah, they got degrees or whatever. And they're like, okay, his mom has like a big house or whatever. You know, and his sister's always been the type that's just like on point with everything. This is on point. That's on point. This on point. That's on point. And for our life, it wasn't like that. For our life, we literally figured it out as we went. We figured out everything as we went. I don't recommend people do that. I recommend people have a plan or have a backup. We didn't have that. We we started out and we just went. With the, like, we literally just went. And they didn't accept that. Like, and he would say things like, he wants me to move with his mom when we were struggling. And I did. And you know what ended up happening? mom ended up putting me and all my children out and told him he can stay there so that didn't work out you know and given she's well off she's not obligated to take care of us but as your child as a mother I feel like yeah you have to be supportive of your children you can't just let your children struggle your job is to be a guide you know to help them and to show them and at the end of the day you let them make your own choices their own choices but you still have to be supportive and that's not a place where she came from and she put us out twice not once but twice um me and my children so we had to sleep on my sister's floor my baby was like two months old my last child was two months old and we had to sleep on the floor you know and we kept going, we built, you know. But it's been super, super rough. And sometimes you get to the point where you say, God, what is it? Because I'm so tired of fighting. I'm tired of fighting. You know? Like, I just want to be okay. I want to be okay in life. I just want to be okay with everything you know it was hard I watch I watch my children be hungry I've watched them with holes in their shoes like we've been through all of it. Couldn't afford pampers, couldn't afford anything like we've been through that. And that was like the hardest thing in the world to go through. And I thank God that I'm not going through that anymore. But sometimes wish that wasn't their life I wish I would have gave them something more you know sometimes it makes me feel like a bad mom like I should have gave them more I should have been able to help them more that shouldn't have been their life and I've worked hard and I told myself, I said, we won't get back there. We won't do it again. And I'm a forgiving person. So it's like, I forgive that. But when I think about it, it still hurts a lot. That they weren't there. That they like did that to my family. That hurts.
So y'all, I had to get my life together and recuperate because that girl ain't me, you know what I'm saying? Like all emotional and stuff. That's not me by far. That ain't me. So yeah, like I was saying, you know, yeah, I hate it to see that for my children. We back at work, by the way. Work tea. But, yeah, I hate it to see that for my babies. I hate it that my kids went through that period of time. And I hate it that I went through that because it was rough. And, you know, forgiveness. You have to forgive people. And so I forgive them. And I understand that nobody is responsible for me but me. Nobody is responsible for my children but me. And nobody has to make sure that they're okay. You know? I chose to have them. I chose this life. And I deal with it accordingly. But, yeah, it gets hard sometimes. And sometimes I get emotional and sad because... <sighs> It's a fight every single day. It's a fight every day, you know. And it's brought me and my husband. Like people would be like, "Oh man, you should bring you closer." But sometimes it's brought us further apart because brought a lot of arguments, you know. When you see family, and sometimes I felt like I wasn't supported. It's like when I get around my husband's family because they're like. They've had, they pretty much, they got it together, right? According to the world standards, like, they're good, they have it together. So, um, I've always felt like I wasn't good enough. And I tell my husband, I say, a lot of the times I go around your family and I feel like I should leave you because I would never be good enough for them. You know? And I went through the phase of you got to try to prove a point to them. So you got to work hard and you got to do this, get it together because you're going to prove yourself to them. And I went through that. <laughs> Stupid. Um, I don't know why the hell I went through that. Trying to prove something to somebody who doesn't even matter, honestly. But I did go through that, and I went through the, I gotta be better, and it just wasn't being accepted by them. And when you try so hard to be accepted by people, and they still don't accept you, it's very, very, it's, it's hard. And I still feel like I'm not good enough for them, but, it's a difference because now I feel like I'm good enough and that's what matters. Like, I'm good enough whether you like it or not, whether you like me or not, I am good enough. And so I don't need your approval. I don't need your stamp of approval. I work this hard. Let me tell you, I had my daughter at 14 and being her mom became, it was natural. I love my daughter with everything every bone in my body, every ounce in my body, it was never a thought of how am I gonna mother her. I just mothered her. And, you know, being a mom was so natural. I've made it through so much in my life. I've made it through so much struggle and so much hurt. And I'm still here. So sometimes I feel like I'm not supported. Sometimes I feel like I don't have anybody. No, right, yeah. Um, when you watch your kids, and I remember times where
take them to the drive through theater. I would take my kids to the drive through theater and I would lay blankets. I had a Chrysler Pacifica at that time. Thank God I had a car. And I would take them. I would take them to the drive through and I would put the blankets down in the back seat of the car. I would put all the blankets down in the back seat of the car and we would watch a movie and I would get them some food. Thank God I had, you know, money to get them food. I would get them food and I would like literally wait until they fell asleep so they wouldn't know that we were sleeping in the car. And I know my daughter was older. I think she was like 12 or something. So she knew, I thank God for her. Cause I, I know it was hard for her. Sometimes we would stay in a hotel whenever we could. Oh my God. Oh yeah. We would stay in a hotel whenever we could. And, um, I remember my son telling me he had, like, they were talking about him, like his friends were talking about him. Because a roach came out of his book bag. And he said, you know, he was like, oh, I had to tell him, you know, we, we're in a hotel, so it's not for my house. My house don't have roaches because I don't even have a house, you know. And I told him. You can't do that because you know I just thought this was like I was so over it but we it's hard to talk about. You can't, you can't, you can't do that because if they were to find out, if they were to find out, they could come and they'll take you from me. They'll take y'all. And God knows I was not in a position where my kids could be taken away like I wasn't in that position. So I told him, I said, you can't do that. You can't do that because we're not in a position like they'll take you because, you know, I can't take care of them, so they'll take you. And now that I look back, like, I thought it was like, I made it through it and you think you're strong because you're like, I made it through it. And it makes you strong. But it breaks my heart. When people look and I always try to maintain the same attitude. Like, no one knows literally what I really go through. Daily just trying to fight. And the honest, honestly, the fear of going back there. Like, I work so hard now. And I was like, I got to get my degree. I got to get a job. I was like, I don't care what I do. I won't be there again. I will never do that again. Like, I can't put them through that. And it's been like a constant fear of 
you may go back, you may go back, you may go back. You know, and I don't talk to nobody about this because, I don't know, it's not nothing that I talk about on a regular basis, like, it's not nothing that I want to talk about. It's like a really, really hard time in my life, and a lot of the times, like, I felt like my husband was shooting the same when we were going through that, but you fight, you fight for what you find worth it, and we fought for our relationship. We fought for our relationship. And given my mom, she was there, like they tried to help people look. And they say, you know, they're probably like, your mom didn't help you. She helped as much as she possibly could. But a lot of things she didn't even know that was going on. I don't think she knew about that sleeping in my car and stuff like that. My sister tried to help, but her landlord, like, was really strict, so it wasn't really happening, you know? But I do thank God that I'm not at that place anymore, though it still hurts to talk about it. It's just, I thank God that I'm not at that place anymore. Sometimes fighting gets hard and you put on a mask for everybody around you so they can think that this is your life is made up but in actuality your life is work so now it's like even me fighting to make sure my kids don't go through what I went through. Given I'm in a good situation right now, like, I'm pretty good. You know, we have a little nice, we have a nice house, and I was able to get my daughter a car, and we're in a much better place, much better, but we still, it's still a fight daily to maintain where you're at to fight and boy I tell you my stories are all over the place because it's just so much and there's so much people don't know and there's so much that I hesitate to talk about because what are people going to think what is my family going to think so it's a lot so that's why this is all over the place but yeah it was just like this morning I was having like a hard morning because I'm like oh my gosh I gotta pay for school. Like, God, I'm just trying so hard. And I'm trying so hard. And just like it so hard sometimes. And that's where I'm at. So I was having like a really, really, really sad morning. And I talked about it. just it was a hard hard time for me trying to maintain my life and then when you and it's like in my head it's like okay I got to do this and I gotta do this and I gotta do that and I gotta do this and this business and that business and this is what I want to do and this is what I'm gonna do and it's hard putting everything together like I got my vision board, I got my journal, my planner, and I'm every day I'm going and I'm going and I'm going and it's just like, ready for everything to work out you know and I guess everybody has these days and this is just a day for me and so 
so since I, I don't know anybody, you know, no better person to talk to than the internet, right? Once you put it out on the internet, it's there for everybody to see it, but it's like therapeutic for me, so. It's therapy. I don't want anybody to get like, oh, she's depressed. No, I'm not depressed. I'm not depressed. I'm not, like, I'm, I was just having an emotional morning, and I think about it, and it's just constantly fighting and constantly going because, like, <sighs> ready to make it. That's it. I'm just ready to make it. I'm ready for my kids to make it. I'm ready to be like stable but it's like a new a bunch of new things that I'm gonna do but first I'm gonna start mentally I'm not depressed I'm not sad I'm not suicidal I was just having a very emotional morning very emotional but I think I'm okay now nobody knows I go through these days I have these days. These days can be so stressful. I do go through them. But I'm okay. And I understand that sometimes you think, why me? But I feel like, why not me? You know? Hold on. Department of Corrections. Yes. Mm hmm. So I'm here and this is my life and it's just been an emotional morning but thank you guys for listening, you know. <laughs> Comment, like, subscribe. I told you it was going to be raw, I told you it was going to be real and no matter who sees or who doesn't, it's very therapeutic for me and I thank you guys for watching. Comment, like, subscribe. Um, Excuse me, it's Friday, I look a mess. I'm gonna change my hair tomorrow. I think I might record it. I'm gonna change the color and everything because I feel like right now I need, uh, I don't know why this one keeps sticking up, but I feel like right now I need a change. So I'm gonna change it. I'm gonna change it. So everybody, Comment, like, subscribe. Thank you guys for listening. It's very therapeutic for me. I appreciate it. And just continue this journey with me or with us. Thank you. Bye.